percent chance I'm going to die getting blown into a hedge. There's also a ten percent chance it will add half a mile an hour to my average speed. Make sure I charge my Garmin. Make sure I charge my lights. Make sure we get those bars in ten miles, and I'll be more than starving. Nothing compares to the thrill. Underprepared for the hills. I used to get wheels on air. Now I put air in my wheels, change that tune Train and cruise, chains been lewd, pace and move Strava stats give man a heart attack but then my pace improves Bars and cadence are strong, now my legs up my cadence are long It's about time we do this, sister cycling tattooist What is up guys, if you're new here then welcome to the channel And if you're regular, then welcome back It's a Sunday, the day of the cycling gods We must pay our respects so I'm out with the lads. Only issue is, it's blowing a bit. Yeah, it's very windy. Oh, and Alex has decided to put on 80 mil deep rim. So let's hope he don't end up in a bush. Just filming your uh, wheel choice, mate. Well, when the wind is high, I always think bring out the big sails. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? It's <laughs> the obvious thing. What, well, 80 mil? <laughs> 83 at the front, 87 at the back. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, perfect for 50 kilometer an hour gust. There's a 90% chance I'm gonna die getting blown into a hedge. There's also a 10% chance it will add half a mile an hour to my average speed. Wow. The risk wall grade show, worth it in my opinion. <laughs> Place your bets. Will Alex end up in a bush by the end of the ride? I reckon there's a very high probability. I'll end up in someone's bush. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's not mine. Clear up! Yeah, I'm not just milking it. It is definitely windy. It is uh, 37 kilometers an hour, the wind, with gusts up to 51 kilometers an hour. So yeah, I think that constitutes as a bit windy. But one positive, look at that. That is the sun. It does exist after all. After all me moaning in my last video, the uh, cycling gods decided to treat me. Happy days. Climbing wheels. <laughs> We haven't blown away yet. No. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how sketchy does it feel? Uh, it's like a 9. A 9? <laughs> that is rolling the dice. <laughs> it's a white knuckle ride, I don't like. <laughs> it kind of makes you feel alive though. It makes you feel alive. Yeah, I, I quite like it. Yeah. And upper body workout. Yeah. All aboard! In your sounds, you've dropped them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that a towel wind? Maybe. <laughs> Finally. That was fun. It was. 60k an hour on the flat. Where was your day? <laughs> Suffering at the back. <laughs> with my empty legs. Yeah, <laughs> 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 There she is. 
It's a healthy, sexy beast, I know. <laughs> If any of you were hoping that Alex was going to fall off, sorry, he, ha he hasn't yet anyway. Still time. <laughs> Still time. Still time. <laughs> Mate, what is that? Is that a bowl of coffee? It's, a, there? <laughs> <laughs> it's massive. It's like a hamster's bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. False alarm. Well, actually I better not say that because I probably... <laughs> okay, so great ride with the lads this morning. Turned out to be just shy of 90k and two hours 45 on the clock. And that brings me to a total of seven hours for the week, which it's not too bad for me at the minute, to be honest. Um, probably this time last year, I would have been doing at least double that. But yeah, with everything that's going on in life at the minute, that is about as much as I can squeeze in. I'm definitely looking forward to getting back to Portugal and getting some more volume in and hopefully getting some more fitness back. But yeah, great ride today. Finished off nicely with a cheeky coffee. Unfortunately, all the guys didn't want to join me and Alex at the uh, the calf stop. Me and Alex are very much in the camp of you can't go on a ride and not stop for coffee. It's just uh, it's just not right, is it? <laughs> so yeah, we let the guys crack on on their own and then worked our way back in our own time and decided to uh, push on the pedals a little bit on the way home, fueled by some caffeine, and uh, yeah, had a great time. Also, we managed to put to bed a bit of an old wives' towel where. Everyone likes to tell you, you can't use your deep section rims when it's blowing a gal, but of course you can. And uh, it's not as bad as you might think. And uh, I've done it many a time in the past. And as Alex proved today, you know, he was absolutely fine. So yeah, if you've got some nice deep rims that you just want to put on, just put them on and go have some fun. But of course, do it at your own risk. If you do get blown into a bush, I won't be held accountable. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this video. Next week's video is going to be the Fast Crew group ride, which I'm really looking forward to. As this video goes live, that would have been yesterday. So yeah, if some of you's watching even maybe came to that ride, then yeah, thanks very much for coming. And uh, I'm sure we all had an amazing time. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.